Ooh. Oh, man. I am tired. It is like 1.44. Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Mario. I am an Apostolic Pentecostal. And if you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. If you don't know what the purpose of this channel is, the purpose of this channel can be broken down into three main things. One, I want to equip apostolics with easily shareable messages to become stronger in their faith. Two, I want to open up the eyes of current Christians to our beautiful doctrine, what we believe in. And three, ultimately, I just want to see the word completely cleanse you and transform you into the way God wants you to be and how he wants to see you through his eyes. But because you have navigated your way to my channel, you have made it just in time for the Daily Mop. And in today's message of prayer, I'm going to be talking about the delusion of change. Oh my gosh. All right, delusion of change. Well, what in the world does that mean? First, let's define delusion. Delusion, an idiosyncratic belief or impression that is firmly maintained despite being contradicted by what is generally accepted as reality or rational argument, typically a symptom of a mental disorder. In layman terms, homie, you ain't fooling anyone but yourself. I've seen this happen way too much in the church. This is the idea, or more so this is the action, of seeing someone who's received biblical revelation, who's received the gift of the Holy Ghost, and maybe even gone as far as being baptized in Jesus' name, but still continuing to live their old life. See, they want to claim that, oh my gosh, the power of Jesus has completely transformed me. Yes, God. Yes, Jesus. You have transformed me. But on Saturday night, you'll still find them at the club. On Friday night, you'll hear about them drinking. You'll see on their social medias, maybe Instagram stories, maybe Facebook, they'll still be posting the things they used to post. You're looking at their lifestyle and you're just, this doesn't add up. See, they proclaim they're a brand new man, they're a brand new woman, but they're simply deluding or you're fooling yourself. You're not fooling anyone, especially those who are more spiritually matured, but you're especially not fooling the person that all this really matters to. You're not fooling God. Jesus said in Matthew 7, 20, therefore you will know them by their fruits. See, what Jesus is saying here is you'll know someone who's truly been changed by how they speak, how they talk to you, how they make you feel, how they react to certain situations, how they walk, how they carry themselves, the things they talk about. You will know exactly who they are by the fruit, by the things that they say. Meaning if they've truly been changed, you wouldn't find them doing the things they were doing before. You wouldn't find them talking about the things they used to talk about because we know the Holy Spirit to be a very transformative experience as when it's living inside of you. We know that being baptized in Jesus' name we die in our old ways and we're raised up into new life. We know these things, but some people still fall into this delusion that I have changed. I now have secured salvation and, and I can just do whatever I want now. I've secured it, but simply that is not the case. We are born again. We are called into a new life. 2 Corinthians 5.17 tells us, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us or brought us into harmony to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. We know that after you've been baptized in Jesus' name, you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, that's when the journey actually starts. It's not where the journey ends. If you don't believe me, let me remind you of Hebrews 12, 14. Strive peace with everyone and for holiness or separation of sin without which no one will see the Lord. See, it's impossible to claim that you have the Holy Spirit inside you if you're continually finding yourselves in the same sin. See, the Holy Spirit has the power to push out that sin from your life if you allow it if you call on it. But if you're just ignoring the power that's within you, surely you will lose the Holy Spirit, which means you're risking your chances, you're risking your sanctification, you're risking your salvation because you refuse to actually change. 
Whether we recognize it or not, ultimately, God's gonna see everything. See, don't be a Pharisee, those who are polished nicely on the outside but are completely rotten on the inside. Don't be the person who shows up and looks good at church on Sunday, but throughout the week, what you do in your private, the times that the church isn't there to hold you accountable for, you're fooling yourself to think that you've truly been changed. So stop the delusion, you are called into a new life. And I'll be honest, I don't know who this message is for, but this was definitely a message from God for someone who's gonna watch this video. So stop the delusion, start the real change, call on Jesus' name to truly transform you from the inside out. Uh, thank you all for watching. My name is Brother Mario, God bless you. Hey, I hope you all enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Definitely want to know what you all got out of it. But most importantly, share this message. Share it with your best friend. Put it on your Facebook. Slap it on your Instagram. Doesn't even matter. We're trying to get this message out. And hey, don't let your blessing streak in. Check out some of these other videos we got here. Hey, love you all so much. Gotta go. Bye-bye.